Okay. Look at it. More people need to read this. I'm gonna cry about it for like two days. What's up? It's Jan back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Welcome to another weekly reading vlog. All right, so real quick, I gotta go leave for work now because I gotta get coffee. I slept in today. Well, I woke up at five, which is sleeping in for me now, and then finished a book and then I edited and then slept from 6.50 to like 8.11 and had like 20 minutes to get ready. So we're struggling today, but hello, welcome to another reading vlog. This is going to be a week long reading vlog until Friday. Today's Monday, so I guess not a week, five days because I will be doing Gabby's 48 hour readathon for her Patreon next weekend. The goal for this week, as y'all saw briefly, I'm gonna start How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix, which is, speaking of Gabby, also her book club pick for the month. And then I'm gonna read, including that one. Oh my god, look at this angle. I'm just gonna sit. The last four books on my March TBR. So the goal is to finish How to Sell a Haunted House, The Spite House for Kayla's book club, Seven Faceless Saints by M.K. Lobb, which is a new dark YA fantasy. And then hopefully also Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, which is a sequel to Daughter of Smoke and Bone. And then I'm also in the middle of like six other books per usual. That is the ambitious plan. I'm hoping I love this, How to Sell a Haunted House. I've heard only good things about it. I will catch y'all later. Don't know what I'm doing after work yet. Might go to the gym, probably not because I don't have time to gather up my stuff. I gotta pack my lunch still. Hope y'all enjoy this vlog. I'll talk to you later. Hello, it's like 5.30 now. I'm actually at my parents' house because I'm gonna pick up packages really quickly and then go home. But I have some reading updates. I said I was gonna start How to Sell a Haunted House, so I took a Patreon poll and that was the one that was winning for which book should I start first for this like TBR vlog when I left the apartment this morning to go to work. But once I got to work, I realized that Days of Blood and Starlight is the one that's winning. I already read the first chapter of that book last month because I was like craving those vibes again. I just know I'm gonna love it. So technically. I did start it already, but I'll also try to read some of that today, but How to Sell a Haunted House is really good so far. I got to page like 20 something, I believe, maybe just 20. And it starts off really sad. Definitely check the trigger warnings for this because it starts off with grief. The parts of the book are actually stages of grief. I heard it does cover some heavier topics throughout the book, so that is right at the beginning. And then I also started Air Awakens by Elise Kova, which is Jody's Patreon book club buddy read for next month so I had it on my kindle for like years not years I've only had a kindle for like a year I've had it on my kindle for months now I was like let me just start it I was craving like these hollow vows vibes so like just easy fantasy type of thing so I started that I read a chapter and then I also am reading Howl's Moving Castle that's kind of just like maybe for the gym or like I don't know just like a fun time because I've never read it and I was gonna do a vlog reading books that like I should have read already and like everyone else has read like Howl's Moving Castle and New Moon and Clockwork Angel and things like that and I still might do that vlog but I've already started Howl's Moving Castle and it's all right I don't know if I'm gonna be obsessed with it as everyone else is but we'll see so yeah those are my reading updates tonight I'm gonna be most likely streaming with Christina because we realized we both have this library book called Even Though I Knew the End by C.L. Polk and it's super short it's like 120 pages so of course we decided to buddy read it and we're gonna start it tonight it's super short but I don't think we're gonna be able to read it in one sitting that would be ideal but probably not yeah so i'm just starting all the books y'all know the main goal for this week is finishing my tbr for march really need to make a hair appointment at some point this week but it's kind of just like an overwhelming week so i might have to push it to next week we'll probably see y'all when i do an unboxing in a couple seconds all right hello as promised we have unboxings also i forgot to mention i also got another library book because i returned three but usually it's the other way around where I return one and get three. We're making progress, okay? I got the ivory key. The only reason I checked this out from the library is because today I got a notification from Pango that my order got refunded because the seller was just like not responsive. It was only like $6, but it had like the blue sprayed edges. It was like a special edition and it was a paperback. I'm not a, a huge fan of this cover to be honest with y'all, but I thought it through and I'm like, maybe I should just get it from the library. It doesn't seem like something I would be dying to annotate. So yeah, it's just one of those fantasies that was on the best of 2022 staff picks list. So we're gonna see if I agree with that. This package is happy to see you too. Aw, cute! I love Pango's cute packaging, like all the different sellers' ways of packaging stuff. 
Oh, speaking of, I gotta send out two Pango orders. My Pango's always linked down below, by the way, if y'all were unaware. Oh my god, cute. Stop, this is adorable. They put a thank you card. They put two stickers. It says, so booked. And that's what I do. I read and I know things. And then this bookmark like a bookshelf wait that's super cute and i could not believe this was already on pango because it came out this month i guess i just didn't want it maybe they got it for free from the publisher or something but it's flower heart there was only one copy on pango and i'm so glad i snatched it right away but oh my god it has like this speckled cover you can't really see but this is a cottage core fantasy and i'm so ready i'll probably read it for flower a thon which is hosted by rachel from happy go lovely sleeves i'm so excited at first the cover was like, okay, it looks like wannabe anime, I don't know, but then it grew on me. And then it's like cottagecore fantasy for fans of Margaret Rogerson, who I love and I still have to reread Sorcery of Thorns, I still have to read Mysteries of Thorn Manor, and I have to read An Enchantment of Ravens. I think this is a debut by Catherine Bakewell, and it also has my ex's name as the main male character, but we're gonna, we're gonna look past it. Honestly, I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, this is from Sourcebook! I was like, I did not order this. This is so random. Isn't this a really backlisted book? The Assassin Game 2015. Do they look at my like Goodreads want to read? Because this has been on my want to read. Like this was one of the first things I put on Goodreads. Thank you so much, Sourcebooks. What? That's so random. This says, it was just a game until it wasn't. Tag, your it. At Kate's isolated boarding school, killer is more than a game. It's an elite secret society. Members must avoid being killed during a series of thrilling pranks, and only the game master knows who the killer is. When Kate's finally invited to join the Guild of Assassins, she thinks it's her ticket to finally feeling like she belongs. But when the game becomes all too real, the school threatens to shut it down. Kate will do anything to keep playing and save the guild. But can she find the real assassin before she's the next target? It sounds like it's very high stakes. Don't know when I'll be reading this, but I was thinking of doing like a source books vlog too because they send me a bunch of books. Maybe that'll be a thing. This last one I'm so excited for. It's not a book, but it's bookish. Addie LaRue merch. I'm going to wear it next month when I meet the Ishwab. Oh my god. Amazing. Oh, I love this color. Oh, my mom's home. This is going to be so cute with like a denim jacket or leather jacket or something. So yeah, that's the haul. I guess I'll go say hi to my mom and then go home, see Joey, eat dinner, probably have dino nuggies. <laughs> much last night I don't think I just did a couple of clips of b-roll I ended up sprinting with Jody on her patreon Jody and M from perfect paperbacks so that was fun sprinted with Christina afterwards because she was having a rough day and I wanted to be there for her I ended up not buddy reading even though I knew the end because we wanted to read different things and we just needed to do some self-care Okay. These three are the main priorities right now, even though Dracula is not on my March TBR. It was just on my hopefuls, pretty much. It's also a buddy read on my Patreon, so we're all just like trudging our way through it. But I did my chapter this morning. I flew through it. I love it so much. It's a lot easier to read than I was expecting, other than the first chapter. Once you're in, you're like in. And I was scared that it would be like Frankenstein, where, you know, people's expectations are like the spooky monster. But in reality, it's not those vibes at all in the book for the most part for the most part so i was nervous that there weren't gonna be as intense of vampire vibes as i was anticipating but there are and now i'm on chapter five and honestly if i have time later i might sneak in a whole nother chapter and i'm glad i chose this edition to read because it's a lot easier on the eyes than my other options so loving that thank god because i have four editions as y'all might know skip the gym because i was like I am annotating this way too much to even consider reading 
it on the treadmill or the elliptical or whatever. And I got to chapter 20, page 75. Loving it. I mean, I love that Lainey Taylor does this thing where she names the chapters, like a word or phrase that's in the chapter itself. So I'm doing a little like scavenger hunt for each chapter. I want to do it for the first book too. And just highlighting when I see the title chapter within the chapter, if that makes sense. Title chapter, the cha chapter title within the chapter. Can't really say much because it's a sequel but it basically throws you right in and then Karu is not right in the beginning you get her perspective a little bit later again the writing is just stunning i am in awe of Lainey taylor's writing honestly today the plan is to go to plato's closet with laura because i have like six trash bags of clothes to sell i know they're gonna give some back so then i have to drop it off at goodwill at some point but yeah that's right after work and then i have to go to my mom's with joey to drop off my car because well hopefully if my manager lets me work from home tomorrow because my mom's car broke down and I'm gonna let her use my car for work tomorrow because my stepdad has been working from home two days now so I'm gonna be a good daughter for once. Look I'm socializing. Hey. Look at it. It's Loretta. <laughs> <laughs> a fellow vamp. <laughs> we are at Plato's Closet once again. <laughs> Look at the shirt. Where did it go? That's Laura. Oh, Laura says this shit all the time. I mean, well, so guess do I. Who I am, though. Guess her zodiac sign. Comment down below. <laughs> currently Wednesday at 5 45 p.m. I worked from home today because Mama Agaton needed my car. Thank God because this morning I was not okay. I woke up feeling kind of like physically shitty and mentally shitty. I woke up at 5, read. Joey left at like 6 30 but right before he left I had a mental breakdown. So I went back to sleep and then of course I had nightmares like home invasion nightmares and that's terrifying then i literally went back to sleep and i overslept a little bit i'm okay now but i had plans with my friend tatsu we were gonna read at a coffee shop <laughs> okay listen tatsu and i we've been trying to hang out for the past year but shit always comes up and today the thing that came up first was i don't have a car she's like okay i'll pick you up and then i was like okay i'll be ready by five she's like i'll pick you up at six and i was like i'm trying to pick up my car at like 7 7 30 i don't know if that's enough time for us she's like oh i don't care so then we resolved that and then now she's running late so i was just like you know what it's okay it's okay so we're supposed to go to a concert on friday so hopefully we're both okay at that point because a lot of the times our social batteries are like the same they are so low <laughs> so a lot of the times it's like we just get it like the, the fact that we just don't feel like it but like got ready already but i could just film instead and be satisfied with having to get ready honestly i wouldn't mind just staying home at this point i'm gonna go eat some dinner picked up this camera because i just finished an audiobook that's not on my tv I finished The Lies We Tell by Katie Zhao. I hope that's how you say it. I think that's how you say her name. I thought it was a sequel to How We Fall Apart, which I read last month. Or no, I think it was the first day of this month. I don't know. I liked this one so much better. I gave it four stars. So the first one was like a Pretty Little Liars, Gossip Girl, Make It Asian type of book and i wasn't really intrigued i think i gave that one three stars maybe four i don't remember that one is so forgettable but this one trigger warnings for racism hate crimes fetishization all that stuff as an asian woman that shit is terrifying okay so this book was so intense and like so realistic this is very much could happen in real life especially on a college campus i liked how the story progressed and the way certain characters were revealed and portrayed and everything yeah i had a good time with this audiobook it didn't take too much of my time i think it was like an eight hour audiobook but i'm glad i finished that it's an important story not a lot of people are talking about it There's definitely less than like 400 reviews if that on goodreads so more people need to read this and realize that shit like this goes down every day maybe not to this extent because there's like this other creepy element to it but bottom line yeah so that just like gave me a lot of anxiety but also but like in an okay way like i wouldn't say in a good way it was just like it 
kept me intrigued. It kept me listening. So four stars, I think it was a good YA thriller for sure. And I don't say that often. This morning I read a little bit of each book that I'm in the middle of. I'm just trying to make it past page 100. The three books, so I gotta get to page 100 in Dracula, which is like 15 pages away. But I crossed page 100 in How to Sell a Haunted House, which I am still liking. I'm just kind of getting sick of the sibling rivalry thing. I mean, I'm sure it'll get creepy, so it could definitely still be four stars, but I don't think this one's gonna be a five. Like, I like how it's written and how quick and easy it is to read, but I don't have a sibling, so I can never relate to sibling stories, and I don't care enough. A lot of them are just annoying to me, no offense, like, hope no one takes that the wrong way, but like, just, I don't like reading about sibling relationships. I keep trying, though, because there are some fantasies that, like, I could probably get behind if it's focused around siblings, but we'll see about that one. Is of Blood and Starlight. I'm on page 108. Still loving it. I have the audiobook now, so I'm gonna try to expedite the process and just follow along, but I do want to keep annotating, so I'm not gonna just listen to the audiobook. But yeah, Dracula's still good. Like I said, I'll probably read another chapter, cross 100 pages, so... That's about a fifth of the book. <laughs> We're making our way downtown, okay? We're gonna get through this. I also read another chapter of Autumn of the Grimoire. I'm just glad I have a book for every mood. You know, like when I want cozy witchy, I have that. But the thing is, Autumn of the Grimoire and The Devil Makes Three are so similar in like magic book type shit. So I'm putting The Devil Makes Three at a pause for now. I don't even know if I talked about it in this vlog, but Kat from Bambina, Katarina and I started that buddy read earlier this month. She got a new job. We're both kind of just like, you know, leaving it to the side. My reading's all over the place as usual, but yeah, this is my first update of the day. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's 4.45 in the morning. That was kind of redundant. It is raining hard as fuck. So guess who's staying in and just reading? Your girl, because I don't care. Reading over the gym this week, honestly. I haven't been in since Sunday, it's now Thursday, and I simply do not care. All I care about is finishing this book before Saturday. So I'm gonna read my chapter of Dracula, hopefully not fall back asleep. Like I love waking up at this time. My body's getting used to it actually, cause I've been doing it for like two weeks now. So that's exciting. It's getting easier and easier not to fall back asleep. I'm gonna read this. It's kind of dragging just a little bit. Like I said, just because the sibling rivalry just keeps going on and on. And then like, who's gonna take what after the- Oh, this bullshit. So hopefully that passes. Some creepy things did just happen. But I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this by the end. I'm scared. I'm more scared about my final reaction or my final thoughts on it than the actual book at the moment. Don't get me wrong, it's creepy because anything that happens with like your home, your safe space, that freaks me out. Like my home invasion nightmares. Also, did I update at all yesterday? I don't think so. I'm gonna read now before it turns 5 a.m. and I've accomplished nothing. I've already been up for half an hour, so. All right. <laughs> Hey cuties, literally just walked in the door. I have a few updates. Got my Panera that I've been craving all day and I didn't want to eat lunch this afternoon because I didn't want to leave. I just wanted to read because I got this. Where did the other book go? I got all the dangerous things. I placed a hold on this in January. Finally got it now. I started it during my lunch break. It got 14 pages in. Chapter three, definitely gonna continue this one. Um, is it on my TBR? No, but we're gonna touch on that in a sec. Once I show you this book, I hate this cover. I like the newer covers better, but this is a curious beginning. This is the Veronica Speedwell mystery series. I heard it's really good. It's always compared to Stalking Jack the Ripper, which I love. I gotta finish that series too. But I've been watching Katie is Reading quite a bit, just been binging her vlogs every day. I literally watched a summer ween vlog yesterday <laughs> of hers and she raves about this series all the time. I know Hannah from Hannah's Recent Reads really love this. So I'm excited to start it and see if I'm obsessed. Ooh, Hunting Prince Dracula, A Curious Beginning and Jacoby. That could be a vibe 
my camera's flashing, but the TBR thing that I was talking about, speaking of themed vlogs, which is how my brain works at all times, also ignore my Christmas blanket. I have officially decided that I'm not gonna be doing TBRs anymore, at least for now. Maybe they'll come back at a later time, but come April, not gonna set a TBR, not gonna make a TBR video. Instead, I'm gonna bring back my anticipated releases per month. Then, not having a TBR will also lead me to have space and time for more themed reading vlogs, which I love doing. It's just so hard for me to stick to them because I always wanna, I always feel guilty that I'm not reading books that are on my monthly TBR. Does that make sense? It does to me. So we're gonna roll with it and I'll explain this all again in my next sit down video, I'm assuming, or something, I don't know. Those are all the updates. I'm gonna eat my Panera now, change out my battery and probably edit today because I'm 14 subscribers away from 5K, y'all. Also have to put all these books away that I did a book haul for and Joey and I still have to glue this puzzle together This is a phone holder in case you were wondering it's from hello lovely and then we have all these freaking napkins I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I am under so much Stress right now because of this goddamn book like I literally almost baby barfed a couple pages ago because of some maggots Okay, and then now there's this whole needle scene I'm just gonna leave it at that. I literally like cannot stop viscerally reacting. That's I true. I can't stop saying, oh my God. I just, oh my God. I just read the next <laughs> What the fuck was that? I don't know. Is that a teapot? Oh my God, wait, ew. <gasps> if you know me, nail, fingernail horror. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm gonna highlight the shit out of that though, but I can't. <laughs> Okay, I just finished chapter 19. So if you're reading this and you're not there yet, be fucking ready. <laughs> Cause holy shit, that was so much. That was too much. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'm on the last chapter until we're at the next part, which is bargaining. <laughs> that is the reading update. <laughs> okay, two seconds ago, I just smashed my camera into the fucking stove top and I thought I broke it because it wouldn't focus. But all is well. Everything is copacetic. We are going to do dishes and be adults at 9 p.m. Okay, we're gonna watch Katie's reading whilst doing so and have a good old time. <laughs> Okay, yeah, something was fucking that. leaking. Here. Right. <laughs> Literally. Five dollars off the box. So oh, why is that so dirty? <laughs> I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks. I saw oh, that they didn't have the boys. Sounds like a boys one of the I'm wearing a sweater I don't remember. Oh my god, this pen so like Oh my god, my camera's so long. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, is it really? God damn it. I got this. 6 a.m. And Christina and I are doing the damn thing. <laughs> Psst. Cheers. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, my stomach just growled. Did y'all hear that? Got off stream with Christina at literally 8 o'clock. It's now 8.30. I'm about to leave for work. I gotta get... More coffee. I want an iced coffee for work because I am exhausted. So I woke up at 4 or 30, edited a video, got that up, and I'm actually really happy about that one. That was the week that I first started waking up at 4 30 or 4 15 or whatever. This morning I woke up at 2 30 and then 3 30, both times thinking it was time to get up. I was like, what the fuck? I've been asleep for like four hours. So I had a shitty time sleeping. Oh, 8 30, gotta leave for work. I had a shitty time sleeping. My arthritis has been acting up the past couple days. Yesterday it was pretty bad because it was raining and 
and it was Humira Day. Sorry, I know some of y'all don't give a shit, but so like today is like the aftermath of yesterday and it's supposed to rain again. And if y'all know arthritis, when it rains, like the air pressure or whatever, or something like that, I don't know. But every time it rains, it fucks with my joints and I know I'm not the only one. So I know it sounds crazy to people who don't have it, but like, trust me. So yeah, today we I was gonna go to see this band Magnolia Park with no S. This is the Magnolia Park that I support. <laughs> like, I've seen them before, so I was like, I'm not even mad about having to miss it. I just like cannot. I just don't have the mental capacity, the physical capacity to go to a show tonight. I'm going go with my friend Tatsu, like I said. Was it yesterday or the other day? This always happens. Something always comes up with us. And she was super sweet about it, and I felt really bad. Because like, I don't care about my $22, but I feel bad about her $22 <laughs> that she paid to get the ticket for. So yeah, tonight it's supposed to rain. So I was like, Joey, can we just stay in tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day too but i'm gonna end this vlog tonight tomorrow i was like can you make chili and can we just like cuddle and read all day and he's like for sure. But this morning, I read more of this. I read my chapter of Dracula. I want to finish this today. I have like 130 pages left, something like that. 130, 140. And I am honestly kind of bored. There are some intense parts. Like Grady Hendrix is a very descriptive horror author, which I appreciate. But like to get to those intense parts, it just feels dragged on. I've definitely read authors that drag things on even more. <clears throat> Stephen King. But <laughs> the sibling rivalry thing that I talked about that didn't even like get resolved or come to any sort of resolution until 250 pages in and it just got old and I just got annoyed by the characters and the whole situation this whole thing the horror is in the puppets that's all I'm gonna say but like I think that's like a universally known thing about this book at this point because this has been out for a little bit now and I am just not a puppet person I just like don't enjoy it. even like the goosebumps episode with slappy I was like this is so dumb <laughs> Like, it's creepy, don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. This shit is creepy. But it's not something I enjoy reading about. So this might be a three star. This is probably, like, 90% sure gonna be a three star. That's disappointing, but I'm gonna finish it. Will I finish it tonight? That's the real question. But I'm gonna read during my lunch break. I'm just gonna get as much reading in as I can. Now I have no plans, so hoping to finish that, and then I'll end the vlog, even though that's probably, like, the only physical book I read. I just got Angelica Frankenstein Makes Her Match on audio and I've been craving like a romance audiobook just like a light-hearted audiobook because I've been reading a lot of horror and fantasy I gotta go I'll chat with y'all later. Hello, hello. It is many hours later. I just got back from work and I have some updates. So first of all, another hold from the library came in. I literally have like 20 books out right now. Got Vera Wong's unsolicited advice for murderers. This is about an elderly lady who owns this shop in Chinatown and she basically helps solve murders, I'm assuming. But this is written by Jesse Q. Zatanto and it's just like a cozy mystery. And this is the author of Dial A for Aunties if you didn't know, which I love. I just love her writing. It's so comforting and I'm excited to read from the perspective of this woman. It seems like it's going to be a fun time. Probably won't even touch this until next month though so and that just came out and then i was browsing the graphic novel slash manga sections at the library because i'm trying to be strategic for gabby's screaming color readathon that starts tomorrow which is why i have to end this vlog tonight and i found this and that has some green on it this is venus in the blind spot by junji ito as you know i'm trying to get through all his works i'm almost done i'm almost done and he's gonna come out with like two more this year i think i just pre-ordered tombs by him which is also very green so that would have been nice but it's fine it comes out on the 28th but this is one i haven't read yet because it seems like it's very sci-fi i read remina wasn't really a fan of that one that one was super sci-fi too i'm not a sci-fi girly especially like space opera type things but jinji ito can do no wrong he can do some three stars but no wrong i will read anything he creates so this is happening tomorrow and then i actually made pretty good progress with an audiobook that came in today, Angelica Frankenstein meets her mat, makes her match. And then it was actually available at the library as a physical copy, which I was really happy about because then I can count my physical pages. Because if I only listen to books on audio, I don't like doing the percentage with the math. Sometimes the page count is inaccurate. So once I have the physical book, even if I'm listening on audio, it's a whole system, okay? It's not that deep. Just let me do things how I do, okay? So I am actually like 40% in. I'm on chapter 13. So I'm 140 pages into this book. 
I started this because there's also green on this cover and I figured if I don't finish it tonight, I can finish it tomorrow and then start on a good note, you know, the 48 hour readathon. I'm feeling like it's gonna be a three star max, which I expected because Sally Thorne, I DNF the hating game, the audiobook. The movie wasn't bad, but I just like don't vibe with Sally Thorne. I don't feel like I'd be interested in her books, but this one obviously it's like a retelling of Frankenstein in rom-com form. I like the audiobook because the accents are great. Am I paying attention the entire time? Am I interested enough to pay attention the entire time? Absolutely not. So I have missed certain plot points, I'm sure, but it's not that deep. <laughs> and then the main goal before I end this vlog is to finish How to Sell a Haunted House, as I've said this morning. I love the, that sound that this just made. I'm on page 302 now. I crossed the 300 page mark during my lunch break. So I have 111 pages left. I got out 15 minutes early today because I was over on hours. So it's only like 5.15 right now joey hasn't called me yet so he's not even on his way home so i'm gonna read this while i wait for him to call i really want to take a nap though but i'm gonna try to push through maybe i'll make another coffee that'd be my third coffee of the day probably not a good idea i mean it doesn't even matter not really there was a really intense part involving an arm and that's all i'm gonna say if you know you know my joints hurt so badly chronic pain fucking sucks y'all arthritis fucking sucks would not recommend <laughs> so i'm really glad I canceled plans tonight because there's no way I can't even fathom going to a concert right now Like everything is throbbing internally and I can't all right I'll be reading I will catch y'all when I make more progress when something intense happens. Maybe maybe when Joey and I get food who knows happy Friday uh, The end of chapter 28 in how to sell a haunted house when I say jaw to the floor Okay, might be a four star just it just might Daisy Jones Daisy Jones Hi. Where's my soup? Soup! I love them! How do you guys, how does your wife just watch that? Well, because they know they just have done it, but she is not She knows that Daisy wants her husband's dick. Hello, people of the internet. This is what Daisy Jones did to me. Let me put these on to hide the pain. <laughs> I loved it. That was good. I never read the book, but. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry about it for like two days straight. Just like thinking about it. Oh my God. <laughs> like the ending was like different, but the same. But like, wow, so well done. That was good. Oh my God, I'm a... <sighs> She's such an angel. I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop. I'm just trying to end my vlog. <laughs> I'm trying to end my vlog because I don't think I'll finish How to Sell a Haunted House in this one. You want to finish it by tomorrow? I'm going to end it today. I'm starting the readathon tomorrow. Oh. I'm going to read a little bit more, but I'm going to end it here. So then if I do finish it, the review will be in the next vlog for Screaming Color Readathon because it fits anyway because it's Gabby's book club pick. And this is Gabby's readathon for tomorrow, aka the next vlog. So just look out for that. But right now, it'll probably be a four, between a three and a four. Yeah. Daisy Jones, though, five. That was. <sighs> That and normal people are the best adaptations I've ever seen, hands down. Highly recommend. Oh my god. Okay, what did I read in this vlog? I finished... I have 11 current reads, okay. Did I finish anything? Okay, I finished The Lies We Tell. I finished that Eric LaRocca, The Trees Blue Because I Bled There. Technically, I read the older version, but whatever. Did I finish This Might Hurt? In this one too, probably. In My Evil Mother, I finished on Sunday, but I think I started this vlog on Monday, right? Yeah, so nothing on my actual TBR, but I did get a good chunk of Dracula and How to Sell a Haunted House and Days of Blood and Starlight and Angela Frankenstein, Angel Angelica. Did I keep saying Angela? How many times did I say Angela instead of Angelica? It's Angelica Frankenstein makes her match. All the dangerous things I also started. Howl's Moving Castle, I also started on my Kindle and I'm still working on stuff from patreon buddy reads this was kind of not a great vlog but the next one i'm hoping will be because i have plans my dudes so if you made it to the end of this video let's put the microphone emoji to represent daisy jones or a daisy a daisy or a microphone in the comments down below if you made it to the end thank you so so much for watching hope y'all had a great day stay safe stay positive and stay spooky always and i'll see y'all in my next video bye